Cool. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We have this small matter of a stormtrooper we're building to get completed. So let's let's get back to this. Let's get back down to it. There's been a slight absence, issues beyond our control, but we're back. We're back. We're getting back to some sort of normality. So thank you for joining us and um, let's get down to it. So if you remember from last time, we've got the torso built. We've got the arms with the elastics added. We've got the thighs with the elastics added, but we still need to do a little work on the shins and we've got all these little bits and bobs of accessories that we need to do. So I think let's do our knee ammo belt because this is probably one of the more interesting of these pieces. Here we go. Now to be fair, I don't really usually use this, but I'm doing this just so you can understand what I'm doing. So this is for your benefit, not mine. So we want to cut it out. We want to cut it really close to this, this, this detail. And we want to use the full length. Cheers. So I'm going to cut quite close to those, these raised details, but I'm not, I'm not trying to get this all in one hit. I'm going to sand it down. So I'm going to sand it back to where I want the finished edge to be. But I'm using those pencil lines as a little guide. Okay, so now we need to sand it down. So you've got various options, Dremel, belt sander. I don't want to use that attachment. That's quite a, that's quite a grabby attachment. So we just need to sand this down to this edge. So we've got belt sander, Dremel. Um, could use a nice flat edge on that. Depends how long you've got. But what I would say is cut it the way I have and then sand it back. Don't try and cut it any closer with a Stanley knife or shears or any other tools that's what i'd recommend okay so i'm just going to uh right i'm almost down to those pencil lines that i did this side not so much though so don't take them as gospel they're just a guide but this is this is what we want i'm quite happy with that that's about as even and as straight and as close as I need to get. <clears throat> right now, right on this edge where the vac forming starts to curl over, that's where we want to cut this off. And that is the ideal length. So just where that's beginning to curl, that is the length. That was purposefully done. So when you add this in here, we've got this flat area here. Then we wrap round, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and show you properly. So we want to start here, so if I leave the back two, we start here. We wrap all the way around and we end up in this corner on the other side. So that's what we're going to achieve. Now then, yeah, three mil. I want to put that in the corner. 
So just equal distance in that corner is going to work well. Do that both sides. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. There's no, you don't need to take any measurements. If you start getting hung up on the measurements, that's when it starts looking all wrong. Right, okay, there's one last, one last detail that we need to do on this, which is rounding this bottom edge off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off at 45 degrees, approximately. So you'll notice that this is longer than this, and that's correct. And then I'm just going to sand, sand this round. What we're looking to achieve on this is rather than one sweeping curve, we've got, because we've cut that flat off there, we've got a curve here and a curve here. And that's what you want, that's what you should be aiming for. So it looks to the naked eye, to the, to the passing glance, bit more of that off now. It looks like a curve. But it's actually two curves. That's what you want. That's how you get that correct look. One. Two. I don't know if I can. One. Two. Okay, so again, start with the, the cut off. And we're just going to add a curve here and a curve here. And it's dead, dead simple. There we go again. So, kind of looks like it's one curve, but in reality, there's two curves. That's what we want. Right. So, I need to stick that on there. Before we do, I need me a little piece of ABS. And when you're doing your cover strips, you'll probably end up with a little piece left over. Something like this. And what I want to do is, on the inside here, so where these meet at the bottom, there's a little chip on the inside. But I'm just going to cut it down to fit nicely. And I'm just eyeballing it and I'm just trying it in place. Obviously in my head, I've got an idea of the shape it is from seeing this and doing it before but when don't worry when I'm done I'll show it to the camera okay that's nearly there I'll take a tad off the bottom there <clears throat> so what I'm trying to do is there's a there's an area here you can get that there's a flat here on both of these pieces yeah so there and there now the chip I'm gonna put in is only gonna be as long as this one so I've cut this and the idea that goes in like so can you see that yeah and all it's doing is just adding a little bit of strength where it's a bit Flimsy. In fact, I've managed to pull it off with the glue there. I'll just get a bit, a little bit more in. We're just adding a little bit of strength over here, and although it is going to make it look a little neater on the outside, that's not what we're doing this for. So where I, where I was drawing on this to rough it out earlier on, I've still got the pencil on the front, so I know that's the front side. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back. Smear a little on there. Right, drop that in place. like so just hold this whole thing together I'm going to put our little uh, little nodger in this one as well I'm just going to guess the size of this I'm going to try a piece in there and then I'm going to see what I think so our aim with this piece is, see this gap here? 
our aim with this piece is to get a piece of plastic in there to get rid of that gap. So when you're wearing the armor, you've got, and you've got the black undersuit on, instead of seeing a black line, it's still going to be white. So to do that, I need to get right up in there to make it look nice. So you can see, you can see how I'm going to use this plastic, maybe not that bit. Yeah, so I'm going to go up, you see these points? I want to go up into there with this point. So I'm going to do it like that, and then I'm going to use my third arm, which I wish I could grow. I'm just going to cut it that way and that way. I'll do that first of all, then we're on the same page. <clears throat> so that's going to stick in there now like so. So I just want to cut the bottom off. Oh my God, he's dropped it, he's fumbled the ball. Right, so I'm gonna stick that in there. So let's cut that bottom off. This is what it's looking like and it's just filling, filling that area. And it's adding a little bit of strength. And this is not something I've just made up, it's on the original suit. Make sure I'm putting this in the right way. Yep, there we go. So a little little dab of glue on the back. Okay, so let's think about attaching the belt. So again, I want to drill a hole. I want to mark it on here. So as we did it equal distance, we're just doing the same thing here. Now I need some rivets and some tools. Bag 13 in our kit, we have some closed capped rivets and this is what we want to use. So one side's right through you see that? And there's the cap on. You see that? Let me get my press stud tools and they're going to work pretty good for what I want. All you've got to do is this. Get that down on there. Get that. So this is my press stud tool, but I'm using it the opposite way around, so not where the hole is. And all I want to do is just crush that. So we've gone through from the outside, we put the cap on the back and then we've uh, smashed it down. So I don't know, can you see that? Yeah? <coughs> okay, so then we're just going to wrap this right around here, up to the bottom. Now as you pull it over, you might think it's not reaching, so you just want to literally kind of stretch it. Now you can mark it if you really want to. But again, all I would do is, if you look where that mark is, equal distance from the two corners. So that's, ordinarily I would just drill this hole straight in there wouldn't even stretch it round, I would just know that's where it's going to go. So I don't know if you want to just have a little look at this, and we'll just explain this again. So for the closed cap rivets, we have a male here and a female here. 
which obviously means this one has a doodah and this one has a I'm sorry for your boys if that's the conversation they're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, they, they explain it to me. <laughs> so I've just stretched that round. So it is tight. It's nice and tight. So we've pulled it round. We've forced it into position. And that's what that's doing is it's also holding it up. I'm struggling to pull that down. I mean, I can do, but... You know, it's held in position quite nicely. So again, here we are. So we put that cap on. I can place it on the hard metal surface. So what, I want the cap nice and flat on that metal surface. And there we have it. So that's held quite nicely. It's It's got plenty of resistance to hold it in position, but if I really force it, I can get it to come over. Now, you can put a little dab of glue on there if you want to. I'm not going to at this point because I don't think it really needs it. The neat ammo belt installed. So we obviously just use that piece, three mil drill, close cap rivets out of bag 13 from the strapping pack. So that's thighs complete. Nice and easy, we've got our, our little nodges in the front, we've got the belt on, we've got, if we look at the suit over there, we've got the arms done, we've got the torso done, barring the buttons. Um, so I think that pretty much leaves, I don't know, maybe we should have a look at those shins. So until next time, I've been building thighs. So if you've been following the build and you think you want to build one yourself, now is a good time because while we're on the uh, coronavirus lockdown and um, we are bringing back the quarantine kit now we did the quarantine kit right at the beginning of this when coronavirus thing kind of kicked off um, but it was cut short because we didn't know whether we would be here and able to come in and, and continue we can we are we're here we've just had a brand new batch of plastic delivered so I'll, we're good to go on this so that will be back up on the website now so check it out if you if you if you've been motivated enough to think about building one by watching the tutorials amazing that's great that's exactly what they're for um get on there get yourself a kit get building let's share the experience there you go simple as that this is how we build stuff so if you need a kit you can get on the website if however you've seen this and you think this is not for me and I don't have the time. Don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All again, all on the website. Just click through, choose your character. It's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.